Greetings out there, and welcome to another show of Tell It Like It Is. I am your host, Morris Man, and my co-host is... Joseph Spencer. And today we're going to do another, as usual, a very interesting, interesting topic is this. And before I really go into this uh, show today, I'm going to say this because my heart goes out to anybody that's struggling out there who can't make their bills, can't take care of their kids, you know. And uh, we have a, a soft spot in the heart for that because I come from a humble beginning. And I told, you know, tell, tell Joe off the air that, uh, you know, we were so poor at a certain time in our, my lifetime that we used to have mayonnaise sandwiches because we couldn't afford meat. We used to look at the cookbook like a young guy would look at a Playboy because we were hungry. So I can totally understand and totally relate to the struggles of people's lives. So today's topic is this, and then I'm going to give you my brief, quick uh, synopsis of this scenario, and then I'm going to turn it over to Joe and get some of his opinions on this topic. Minimum wage. Now, when I watch TV a lot of times now, I see on the news where these people are complaining that they need more money. And I understand it because I think just about everybody is overworked and underpaid. Even when you're making good money, you're still not making what you're worth because someone's paying your, paying, you know, your salary. And until you can become your own boss, then that changes. It's called profit margin. Yeah, exactly. So I see, the, I see these, uh, these uh, newscasts, and it's usually a lot of women, that they got a lot of kids, and they complain, I'm not making enough, and I can't take care of my kids. I think some people don't realize this. A minimum wage job is a minimum wage job. It's not a job to try to, to create a living and make a living off of this, you know? You can't do that. But there's some people that don't realize the difference between the two. And I'm gonna say this and turn it over to you. I look at it like this, and it's just solely my opinion. There are three tiers of jobs. The first job you get is when you're still work, living at home with your mother and your daddy, and you get your first little job at the supermarket part-time after work to put a little money in your pocket to relieve the pressure of always begging mom and dad, because at that stage in your life, you gotta solely rely financially on mom and dad. You know, and then you get a little, put a little money in your pocket. The second tier job is when you get a little pay, better paying job, perhaps full time, and you're able to at least leave mom and dad home and get maybe a little tiny small apartment to get you started. The third tier is the job where you can buy the house, you can start saving for your kids' college tuition, and you know, uh, you stay there hopefully till you can retire and then call it a day. But there's some people that don't realize that there's three tiers. They think that they can work at McDonald's and, 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 and live comfortably in an apartment. I think if, if that was the case, we all would just stay here and not advance because with each advancement, you got more responsibility. There's more stress. There's more things you have to do for that extra money. But there's some people that don't have no clue that they're levels, that they think that they can start an entry-level job and, and live comfortably with a bunch of children. You know, what are your thoughts on that, John? My thought of it is that uh, 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 when I was a kid, uh, kids worked at McDonald's. Yeah, Burger King. start off job, the entry it's level a start. job. Right. Now you got people my age working, and that's their full income is working at McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah, because yeah. you're forced, and then I'll let you just want to inject. You're forced to take it to the next level to live comfortably because this is what happened. This is what will happen. I'm a teenager. I start working at McDonald's. I think I'm good there. But then I look up the people that are my age and my constituents. They even got management jobs now at McDonald's, so they went off and got real full-time jobs, yeah, and I'm well, still here. You know, you get left behind if you think that you can stay and, and chill, and this is going to be okay for you. You got to get an education. You I, know, I, I, I don't. I, I don't think most people who who who, who work in McDonald's in their fifties and, and, and let's just to say this: we're not picking on anybody that's working at McDonald's. Just using this example. Or, or, or people, or people getting minimum wage. Is that uh, uh, like you said? You got to prepare for things, and if, if you're from generations and generations of, of, of uh, families who've been trained, what the money's for is just to eat and have some place to sleep. Get a job so you can have some place to eat and sleep. Meanwhile, the economy passed those people by because they don't have the opportunity or the information, or the information to tell them about that that profit growth out of your own pocket. And when you live in an area where you can't even get a mop job, it, it, it's a hassle itself. Yeah. And you got to work for, your way I know, out of that. I, I know for a fact, middle class, upper middle class, and wealthy people are more capable of getting a full education because of their monies. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, the middle and rich class have an advantage over the lower class. Right. But 
even when you're down here, you have to realize that you got to get up here. You, you got to put together a strategy if, if, to get there. If you brought up in a neighborhood where people, where he's got a job, he can pay a light bill, he can get a car, that's the main goal. You didn't made it if you could get a car and pay a light bill. You got some place to eat and sleep. You content. You content. Yeah. You, and you and then you turn you though. turn around and, 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 and your children and you, 20, 30 years later, a dollar and 75 cents an hour don't cut it no more. You know? Yeah. And you have people who want want to pay you minimum wage out of the 70s. You but know? again, you know, it's up to you. You can't rely on a company that is going to pay you a middle class wage with an entry level job. Because again, and I'm not picking on the women because it takes some idiot men to put them in situations like this. Stop having all these kids with the first guy you hook up with and date, and then he's gone. You look around two, three years later, you got three kids now. All the guys are gone. That's true. And you think that you're going to survive off of a minimum wage that's, that's paying true. job. But it's, wait a minute, it, let me just finish. And, and you don't have any type of college or, or, or skill set. You know, it's on you to take yourself to the next level as opposed to expecting a company to pay you more than what the job entails to pay you. You know, that's the reality. You know, and it's just, it's just that simple. When you were from a background, like my parents told me, you're going to be the last one hired and the first one fired. That's that Jim Crow stuff. Yeah. Right. If you don't and have you better sense. believe, you better believe if I had taught my kids that, that concept, when you get a job, you stay there for 30, 40 years because you're lucky, you base blessed, you can eat, you can have paid rent. That's the goal is to eat and pay rent, not to, uh, 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 you know, you know, try well, to live like Levy the Beaver did. Yeah, well, that's just basic survival. And there's nothing wrong there's with that. Basic, if, you know, because yeah. there's some people, they the like, The majority of the population, do. white or black, have been trained for basic survival. Yeah. That's it. You, your, your $200 million ain't worth nothing if everybody got $200 million. Well, you leveled off. You know, everybody's the same. You know, there's if no I got two hundred million dollars and everybody around me got two hundred two hundred million dollars, that's like saying uh two hundred thousand or two million bucks. Yeah. And you that's know? fine. You know, but so, yeah, but you know, the the thing here with what we did this discussion is this. People that are out of touch with reality that think that they can But that's part that's part of the system to keep to be ticking people out of touch with re reality. But it's on you to, to make sure that you don't you, get stuck you, in that you, mass. You you up. got your brain. Yeah. You got your brain. You sit down and you look and you 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 concept stuff and you go, oh, but there are people out here who have been trained. Yeah. Wait till the master pay me more. Yeah, but that's a small percentage, and I totally agree with you because there's some people, uh, regardless of what you do for them, they just in that mindset that. I supposed to do the minimum and struggle for the rest of my life. Well, that's what they've been trained to do. You do the yeah. minimum. But, you know, once you get into the world, you just start to observe things and say, damn, all the stuff that I've been trained to do and taught to do, now it's, it's, um, it's an issue because I see other people doing this when I'm still here, so I need to put together a strategy so I can do this and still are still here and struggle. But if you live in a 40-mile square, 40-block uh, 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 square radius, and everybody is doing and thinking the same way you then are. you got to move. You got to move. Well, you can't not, stay there. You, you safe there. No, you're not safe there because your rent is but always due. You got more babies that, that's coming a, and you struggle. That's part of the living thing. That's well, part of their living thing. Well, that has to stop. I you, understand yeah, it's what you're saying, stop. but uh, that's no excuse. I mean, it's when, the truth. It's the truth, but it's no excuse. I mean, when things are <laughs> fucked up, you got two choices. Either you deal with it or you pull yourself up out of it. Morris, you were born to... To sort out information, you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we disagreeing you, here. No, you, we, we disagreeing yeah, we disagree. Because you, I understand well, what you're listen, saying. No, listen to me. I understand what you're saying. No, no, what you're you, saying you're not to listening me is, to me. What you're saying to me is this: If it's fucked up, everybody's supposed to just deal with it and it's well, okay. That's no, what, it's not. That's that, that's what the civil rights was. was but that was, was about. over 100 years ago. This is that, 2016. Robert, Things have changed. We can go, black folks can go to college now. Morris. We can get good educations. We don't have Morris. to rely on a system of being like slaves like in the 60s and the 50s. It's a whole nother Met generation. Met a kid with a Mercedes. It was an old Mercedes. I'm talking to him. He's 27 years old. He's wiping off his Mercedes. I said, man, what you doing? Oh, man, blah, blah. I said, why don't you go back to school? Man, 
To go to college costs $90,000. Is that a white dude? No, he ain't white. Black dude with a Mercedes. Black dude with a Mercedes. Okay. Well, he made it. He's driving something that's expensive, <laughs> so he don't have to go back but to college. But he's been trained that the car is more important than an education. But the fact that he got that car, he's doing something right. Now, yeah, if he didn't well, have a car and riding yeah, a bicycle well, on well, the bus, well, 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 different well, situation. What well, 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 he's doing and per and is perpetuating likely, his own debt. Well, most likely he's content with his situation. He's doing well. Now that, that Yeah. So so if you're doing well. That's part of the trade. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's part of the trade. I'm talking about people that are living in projects and every night they hit gunshots and they think that's the norm and they got that's five the norm. kids. That's the norm for them. Well, that is the norm for them, but <laughs> it's, it's, they have to wake up and get up out of there. You know, you can't rely on your employer. You can't rely on the government for handouts. You know, because there are people Robert. that all around the world that are trying to get to this country. You got to ask yourself, why? Because there's a good system here. And a lot of us don't work it. We're content. Rob we follow everybody else Robert. into that dark place and think that, uh, Somebody's going to carry us and become our saviors. Robert, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's because of you, not because of those 50,000, 50 million other people out there. It's you're where you at because of you. And they have to be where they at because of them. That's, that's exactly it. Right. And it's up to them to get <laughs> up out of that situation if they realize that the job that they work in is an entry level job. It's not meant to buy a house or put their kids through college. It's up to them. It's Robert, you have gener gener uh, Morris, you have generations and gener There are black people living in Chicago who have been living here ever since 1929, and they have never owned anything in their life. They pay rent. Yeah, well, that's the older generation. And now I, I'm, talk I, I'm talking about people younger than you. the new generation has opportunities that, they pay that, parents, parents, that parents, my parents. parents didn't have. My parents didn't have the opportunity to go to college, but these kids now do. And it's like they have to take advantage of that and not rely on the government, rely on the police department to keep they, they, the community safe. I got safe one because, point to make. Wait a minute, the people in their communities are I the ones one. that are causing the problem, I not the police. I went to public school and I, and I was having trouble. But this was in the 40s, Joe, or the 50s. I went to school. But, but, I'm but, not that old. I went yes, to school in the 50s. I'm not saying you're an old man, but <laughs> I mean. The 50s and the 60s and the 70s. But it's a different generation, I'm trying Joe, to say the 60s. Let, let me say, say something. Okay. I have a friend that's 25 years old. I had a teacher call my mother up. She looked at my little manuscript and says, I'm going to tell you something. Your son will never be anything. I'm in grammar school. Most of us hear that. Uh, well, I didn't know that. Yeah, I heard that when I was in school. Are you serious? Yeah, I was like, uh, you ain't going to amount to nothing. I'm like, watch me. That, that, watch that, me. That, uh, they do. That's just their opinion. I, 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 and their opinion means nothing. Well, it's the, just their opinion. Uh, the, the, the age spans between uh, 25 and 60. I thought that crap was over with. It, it's never over. It, it continues. Why would to. you tell? Well, that that's a part. That's a that, that, that's a part of 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 uh, 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 oppression in itself. Control, yeah. Control, and, and you, then and you, you have, have to say to yourself, no one has control over me, over my destiny. That's you. That's that's everybody else too. No, that's not true. That's why people so need leaders. The whole world. Is that's it, why people. So you think the whole world is uh, incompetent and lazy? <laughs> and trifling. Come on, child. It's not. It, it's, it has nothing to do with trifling it and does. being lazy. That's what you're saying. It's called populist dog. It's, okay, it's, as you see it, uh, and this is why I have Joe, because we have a difference of opinion. Because, like they say in business, when two men always agree, one is not necessary. Right. But my stance is this, and I understand what you're saying, and I agree. <laughs> but this is 2016. We got birth control to stop all these kids from having kids, you know, because we're not talking about stopping the sex because we're, we're sexual beings. And, 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 but every time you have sex with somebody that you're not emotionally committed to for a long term relationship, a baby should not be the result of the end result of that. But that's the problem now. You got these people that think that I'm going to go out here, be irresponsible, and the government's going to take care of me, and I'm going to be okay. No, you're not. You're going to be living in the slum the rest I mean, of your life. Right. Ho and hopefully your kids don't that's, get killed. That's the plan. Yeah, but <laughs> you can change that plan by, first of all, saying, let me slow up on the kids until I get me a career going, find somebody that had the same uh, uh, uh you know, opportunities or uh, ambition to take it to another level. Then we have all the kids we want. <laughs> but it's up to us to say, hey, we can do this. And we can't stop relying on people giving us handouts. You know? Well, when you have the church tell you you're going to die and go to hell, you have your teachers tell you you aren't going to be anything, when you have your mama tell you you're just like your daddy and you ain't going to be, hey,
Yeah, because I mean... You're going to be dead before you're 21. Yeah, because I mean... Why are you going to go to college? If you start, <laughs> you know, say for instance, and we're not picking on any of these op no, op occupations that we mentioned, but I start off sweeping trash out of the high schools. It's not. It's an entry level job. It's not a job that's going to get me a house. And it's you, not a job that's going to put my kids through college. It's just, just a, a natural evolve for, of 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 people. I you know, understand that what you. You have to go to the next level and then take it to the next level. I understand what you're saying because yeah. I ran into young black men t talking about work, and I said, "Well, you no, I ain't gonna work for no five dollars an hour." And I looked at him and said, "Well, what do you have? You, no, I ain't never had a job." And whose fault is that? <laughs> it's their parents. It's their parents. Well, so we are responsible for our kids to put them on the path to say, "Hey, this is where we're supposed to go." Instead of, uh, "I'm just gonna let it roll and let the chips fall where they may." We got to have a put together plan because that's one thing I can admire about my white counterparts. They got a plan, you know. Before they start having their kids, they go and get their get them an education, and then they buy them a house. Then they they start their family. Us, we start our families well, in our mama's house. I got, I we got to stop that. I got out in the world and, 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 and found out there are white colored people too. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. There's some there's yeah. some white folks that are financially strapped and then they live like financially strapped black, strapped black people. But I'm talking about the middle class, you know, not the people that's, you know, they, they've been dealt a messed up hand in their life and they're not coming out of that. I got one more thing to say, Robert. Intellect, the power of reasoning, the power of foresight, being able to pull yourself, number one, from oppression. You didn't allow yourself to be oppressed and start drinking and shooting shit up and popping pills and, 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 and the best night of the week is Saturday and Sunday so you can get, get a beer and get some lady friends. You didn't do that. You gotta have, be, have a focus. There's something better than what your granddad did. you know why did. I didn't do that, Joe? You, you didn't like it. No, mom and daddy. They told me from day one when I started to become a teenager, stuff we expect you not to do and stuff we expect to. Then, then, now our young black men don't have daddy in the house because daddy never I, married I, I, mama I, I, and grandmama I, is, 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 is substituted for still, daddy. I still say if you didn't have the intellect to receive that information, you'd be doing the same thing the guys on the corner. Absolutely. Yeah. But again, the reason why I wasn't because I had a mother and father in the house to steer me right. Well, I, and unfortunately, the majority of those question. guys not done. Why, why would you be a little up, upper middle class white boy, born in an upper middle class neighborhood, going to an upper middle class school, end up like a lot of black dudes on 63rd Street? Because everybody would not succeed. Everybody it's just the law of average. Because you can have already everything that you need and you still an idiot in the bar. Still an idiot in the bar. Right, but I'm not talking about those people. That's a small <laughs> percentage. I'm talking about the group of people that can change their life and not expect handouts and think that a low wage job, paying job is going to buy them a house or a nice a rented apartment in a nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. That's why we're all forced to go to that next level to say, hey, I need more money because I want to change my situation and change my address and environment. Well, Robert, and you do Robert, that through education I, and you do that through hard work. I, I know that, but a lot of people see see that out of touch. That's not that's not in, in their scenario. That's not in their visions. You know? So do the government supposed to take care of these people because they didn't get it together? Well, they take care of dogs and cats, don't they? Well, that's different. <laughs> you know, that's totally them animals. You know, they supposed to be taking care of but a human being. I keep calling you. I'm sorry. You know? I know but again, we we agree to disagree on this one, you know, you know, and I respect Joe's opinion. I yeah, respect I yours yeah. too. But we got to do something. We can't keep relying on the government for handouts or jobs you, to no, overpay no, you, you for jobs that. that another person will come in and gladly work that job for that same money. Right. You know, because yeah, it's different right. if you're an air traffic controller uh, responsible for human lives. If you don't do it right, people can die to get paid that kind of money, but you find a burglar sweeping the flow, anybody can do that. And those jobs are designed for people first starting out, but, not but, but people Robert, that think that they're going to make a living out of doing that. But Robert, it's a loaf of bread costs $5. So that means you have to work a, 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 three qu a quarter, a third of an hour to buy a loaf of bread. That's a good point. And when you realize <laughs> things are going up, guess what you got to do? Find a job that's, that's uh, 
comp- uh, matching up with the, the, the cost of living. Yeah, well, so because mainly the cost of living is that. And a lot of people don't think that. They think, I'm getting a raise, man, I'm going to have extra money. Yeah. No. <laughs> what it means is everything's going up and we're trying to keep you up to speed. Right. So the raise that you get, you're going to turn around and pay off these other people. Your rent went up, the food goes up, your, your kids' college tuition or high school goes up. That's just to stay afloat. It's not to be uh, to get ahead or, or you know be on top. To stay afloat. Yeah. But you have to realize that the cycle of how things work. Oh, yeah. uh, you can't live in the seventies, or should I say, live in the eighties on the seventies salary. You can't do it. You can't do it. It's not going to work for you. And then you start bitching and complaining. I'm just not getting paid enough. No, you need to put yourself, take yourself to the next level. But Meaning people, taking yourself people, to school, all, getting all, educated, all getting people, a job skill. All people who are working. The employees should keep them up with the economy. But I they don't, don't care what you. No, yeah, they don't. But they don't. The, yeah. the, the profit. And the they profit. never will. So don't right. never rely right. on that because that's never going to happen. It's not, it's not I think happen. I'll see pigs flying before I see that, that happen. That, that's why they do outsourcing and companies are moving yeah. to other countries. And I understand that, and I respect it. They're trying to find means to trim the fat and create a bigger profit margin. Totally understand. They mad at them about that, but as individuals. You got to put your effort to make your situation better than what it is. And you can't do that when you start having a bunch of children and no husband in the house and you don't have a college degree and you're struggling and you don't understand why you're struggling. You're mad at, the, at your employer. It's not his fault. It's not his well, fault. Well, black people are not the average black person. And it ain't just about black people. It's, it's just about not, people it, that it's, it's don't not. have education or don't have the means. It's, it could be a white person in that situation. But... You know, again, this topic was about, you know, people that are, un- they, they are, you know, uh, have a sense of a uh, lack of in touch with reality that yeah. they, they think they're going to live comfortable with two children, no support from these men that are gone, and their employer is going to make it all good for them. It's not going to happen. You got to go back to school. You got to reinvent yourself. You know, you got to do what you got to do to take it to the next level, because if you don't take it to the next level, you get left behind. You know, you get left behind. You, you spend the rest of your life struggling, and then guess what? You pass that on to your kids, man. Pass it on to your kids. They didn't get a chance to go to college because the, there was no money for them to do it. Now they having a bunch of children, and the guys are no longer with them. Uh, 50 years later, your kids in the same situation you in, if not worse. You, you, uh, you know? I, I had a friend, a wasp friend, and, and he was talking about school. And, uh, and he said something about when his, his grandfather, great-grandfather, got uh, went to this college and in the 1870s, and I'm going, <laughs> 1870s out of college, went to college grade, 1870s, and I'm, I'm seeing the cowboys. and, and Yeah, universities are hundreds of years old. Well, I know it's styles in Greek, you know, I, I know that. And, and, uh, 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 I, and then you, you meet people that go, uh, uh, white and black, I met them. Well, my daughter, she's going to be the first one to graduate from a, uh, High school, I, I got to get get some money together, do some kind of special for her. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There are people who are, are from 200 years of college, and, and there are people from 200 years of, of, of getting out of grammar school. Because yeah. I mean, what's interesting is the majority of the millionaires and billionaires in this country, they don't have college degrees. No, but they had something that propelled them into stardom. Yeah, it's called success. It, it's called daddy's money. No, not necessarily. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey didn't have daddy's money. His daddy, her daddy wasn't even around. She was one of the richest pre- women in the country right pre- now. I'm talking about people who are not uh, 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 movie stars, TV stars, entertainers. You know, that, that, that was well, most of the millionaires and billionaires are some form of entertainers. And, <coughs> you know, I'm talking about the billionaires you don't, they don't, you, you don't talk about. Well, it's hundreds of them. Yeah. I mean, hundreds of thousands of them. And some of them don't want the notoriety of being no. known as this this status. I, I'm quite sure there, there's some men out here way richer than Trump, you know. Yeah, But, but they're probably well educated. Yeah. Well, you they know? got educated in some sense, you know. But let's wrap this up because we totally went over our time. But I'm just going to do a quick closing statement and then we're going to sign off. We have to be responsible for ourselves. We can't expect our comp- uh, these companies to pay you money that is not warranted for the job level that you have because the people that I noticed that are complaining are the people that got low entry jobs and think that they can make a living out of low entry jobs. You're just that. They're low entry minimum wage paying jobs. If you want to better your situation, better job, better education, figure out a way to get there. 
So on that note, I'm going to sign off until next time. Take care.